let's look into the film. In this video, we will be looking at Dalton Schultz. First and foremost, Dalton Schultz in any situation as it relates to player development, player improving, you got to give this guy an A+. He can block, he can catch, he can run routes, he can get yak, and he can find the soft spots in the zone. And he's a sure hand catcher. 15 targets, 14 receptions so far this season. No drops. No drops. And Dak Prescott passer rating is right at around 146 when he throws the ball Schultz way. And we know tight ends are always quarterback's best friend. But it's the tenacity that gets me this guy his ability to get slippery catches the ball underneath and still get upfield and understands the flow of the game goes a long way with me and Dak Prescott utilized Schultz in so many ways not just in the passing game but also in the running game he's not afraid to feel block and on top of that when you think of Schultz his ability to be an inline blocker pays dividends. Pay attention to this play. He blocks inline, giving Ezekiel Elliott an extra chance and opportunity. Now the defensive edge guy got to be cognitive enough to know, well, will he be standing in the backfield this play or will he sneak out? These things goes a long way. And when you look at the film of Schultz, you'll say, man, <laughs> how can you really slow this down how can you prepare yourself for this when you have also outside receivers rolling coverages taking the safety out of the play allowing shows to take it deep these type of plays goes a long way and he capitalized off of this play pay attention to Amari Cooper he would drag the safety off from Schultz and Schultz is able to just I point that ball and bring it in for a touchdown. These plays are such a valuable part to the Dallas Cowboys offense that a lot of people, when you look into the detailings of the explosive plays, it comes down to Schultz being able to block in the backfield, find the soft spots in the intermediate zone route concepts, and taking advantage of that. And he's a sure-hand catcher. Like I said, 15 targets, 14 receptions, two touchdowns. And he averaged north of 10 yards per catch in yak action, as well as close to six yards. So it's a situation where is now you can look at will Schultz continue to be that complete package as it relates to tight end play? Well, I can tell you. Yeah. And underneath routes, finding the extra yards cognitive enough to get into the end zone red zone money zone on this play goes a long way with me and I know a lot of people when they pay attention to Schultz they will say man this guy although although we do have Blake Jarwin we do have uh, Amari Cooper C.D. Lamb you have to say to yourself he's just as explosive and valuable as the other guys the ability to block in the backfield sneak out and then on top of that the sure hands catcher being that guy all of these things goes a long way so with that being said how do you combat against Schultz versus a Jarwin you don't put those two against each other but what you look at when you pay attention to Schultz game is you look at the fact that Let's keep the opposition on the heels. When you are lined up in a 12 concept personnel, basically, will he be always the guy to stay underneath? Or will he be the guy to take it upfield? That is such a valuable weapon. So that is what I'm looking at when I see Schultz out there on the field. Can Dak Prescott utilize this target in the inside of the field? Can Dak Prescott also utilize his target on the outside? Will he stay back to block? Keeping the opposition on their heels. This is not a time now to look at it and say, well, you got shows that elevate it. Now you can dismiss Jarwin. But if you pay attention, even Jarwin improved a little bit on his blocking. Look at this play right here. Take a look at Jarwin on the edge. 
he's not someone to sneeze at as well. Jarwin, in this particular role in, on this offense, is just as valuable as Schultz. But Schultz right now is elevating. Schultz right now is taking a great deed of advantages of the opportunity. Look at Schultz inside right here. Now the opposition, when they think of this, will he stay back to block or will he sneak out in the backfield to catch the pass and the hook? These these things accounts for so much. Two players are now involved into this game. They don't know whether or not, okay, do I stay back, drop back in coverage, follow in the eyes of the quarterback. But watch how Schultz, he, his impact is on three players now. This guy here, this guy there, and this guy underneath. That goes a long way. Tape to come down the field. That is how you play this game. Manipulation. Remember, this is chess, not checkers. This is a game whereas now you can manipulate the safety. You can manipulate the whole outcome. So the next time, the next time the Cowboys roll through the Eagles coming through a pass like this, and you got number 19, whereas the safety over the top is going to roll his way anyhow. Now he got to pay attention to Schultz. He got to make sure that, hey, who got to Schultz? Where the switch will be? This is what chess brings to the table. The manipulation aspect of it. So, this team, which shows is such a dynamic situation, and it's great. And let me just give a shout out to Terry Steele as well. <laughs> Good old Terry Steele holding down his 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 end of the bargain right there, keeping quarterback upright, and allowing the quarterback to be comfortable enough to go through his progressions, to go through his throws. So. There's a lot of things that we can look at as it relates to the Dallas Cowboys offense, but I want people to pay attention to number 86, Dalton Schultz. Let's give him some shine for your mind. Speaking of that, that's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys. Cowboys.